hi guys thanks for tuning into my channel i hope everyone is doing well i hope you're doing fine i hope you enjoyed all the festivities of this spooky season so what i'll be showing you guys today in this video is how to do a soak off with acetone now guys i really 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 hope that you are out there charging for your soak offs because this is a service right as a beginner the entire process from beginning to end took me one hour and 27 minutes that's a lot of time i'm pretty sure there are persons out there who may be taking way less time than i do but regardless it's time and it's effort so you have to charge for it soak offs should not be complimentary okay all right so i start out by clipping down the extensions and then i use my medium grit carbide bit to take down the bulk right and the aim is to file it down as thinly as possible I'm using a speed of 25,000 RPMs and let me tell you something if you do not turn the e-file up you will be there for hours sitting and filing 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 it really just doesn't make sense 7,000 RPMs is not enough 10,000 RPMs is not enough I would say anywhere between 15 and 25,000 RPMs. Now, I know that 25,000 RPMs might be a little bit scary for some persons. Um, I was there just like you. There was a point in time where my drill would never ever under no circumstance pass 10,000 RPMs. But the more and more I practice, the more and more I have built a relationship with my electric file is the more I'm able to increase the speed and feel super confident. My clients feel confident too. You know, most of the times they're actually falling asleep. I am most definitely not telling you to just turn your drill up to 25,000 RPMs right off the bat. You know, it's definitely going to take some time for you to build a relationship with your electric file that will enable you to work at such high speeds. But what I can say to you is that turning the speed up not only reduces the time that you will spend on the service, but it also reduces heat spikes, right? Because if the speed isn't fast enough, you will end up applying pressure to the nail and um, that, that will definitely lead to heat spikes. So anywhere between 15,000 and 25,000 RPMs, I would say, would be a reasonable speed in which to take down the bulk. So as soon as I've removed all the acrylic from one hand, I go ahead and soak my cotton buds in acrylic and I apply them to the nails and wrap in foil paper. I do this because I want to ensure that by the time I'm finished filing down and applying the acetone to the other hand, I can move right along and start to take down the acrylic from the other hand. So since I'm using the drill at such a high speed, you will see me from time to time, you know, place my thumb on the nail just to feel it, just to see if there's any heat building up because 
most times the heat will actually start to build up right at the surface of the nail before it passes down to the natural nail so i will feel it from time to time you know and of course i do ask my clients to tell me if they feel anything if they're feeling any pain or any discomfort so please be mindful of that because sometimes we can get carried away you know but once you're not applying pressure and once you're moving the drill around you know don't keep it in one place for too long so once you're moving the drill around and once you're not applying any pressure everything will be fine So the other hand is soaking and I'm going to move on to removing the acrylic from the first hand. Now guys, the set that was there before um, was not done by me and I really don't know what it is with this acrylic but while removing it, it, it just felt different. It, it felt... It was extremely sticky. It's, it's nothing that I'm used to at all. So I'm really not sure what that is about. Um, I don't think it's MMA because my understanding is that usually when you soak MMA off, it has more of a gooey consistency. And I wasn't experiencing that at all. You know, it, it, it was flaky, but there was just this stickiness to it. And you can see me there having to clean it off of my hands as well it was getting stuck underneath my nails um yeah it wasn't wasn't very pleasant at all there was also a lot of flooding of the previous set into her cuticle area so you will see me go in with the cuticle nippers you know just trying to get the product from underneath the cuticle area
So once I've removed the bulk of the acrylic, I then go in with my sanding band at a speed of about 4,000 RPMs, between 3 to 4,000 RPMs. I actually do not go up to, I don't like going up to 5. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I usually stay within the range of 3 to 5,000 RPMs when I'm using the sanding band on the natural nail. So here I'm just using it to remove some of the residue of the acrylic that was left behind. And then once I do that, I go in with my cuticle bits and clean up the cuticle area because by this time, some of the nails still did have quite a bit of acrylic stuck in the cuticles. So once I'm through with the cuticle area, I go in with my hand file and just shape the free edges and side walls and I accidentally selected my 80 grit um, hand file which as you know that is too coarse, way 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 too coarse for the natural nail. I really wasn't looking and I think I just grabbed it and um, I guess it wasn't until I started to use it. You know when you're in autopilot mode <laughs> you know you're not really realizing it wasn't until I started to use it that I realized that the feel of it wasn't right and then I eventually switched out to my 150 grit which is a final grit and is more suitable for the natural nails So I basically repeat that process on the other hand so not much to explain going forward so I will just leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the footage and then we will look at the end result.
so there you have it guys here is the end result here are her nails after a soak off i think they look really nice so they are ready for another set i will be posting it soon until next time take care and thank you so much for watching bye